tunnels are a rich part of turnpike history, abbreviated by Loma S. Henry. In late 1934 as America struggled with the Great Depression, Victor Lecoq, a Pennsylvania planning board employee, William Sutherland of the Pennsylvania Motor Truck Association and newly elected state representative Cliff S. Patterson of Monongahela, developed the idea of building a new highway along the then abandoned South Pennsylvania Railroad Company line through the Allegheny Mountains. On April 23, 1935, Patterson introduced a bill in the State House to authorize a feasibility study for the new road. He was the only sponsor. But, the Associated Press picked up on the story and reporter David Fernsler began transmitting dispatches on the proposed, weatherproof tunnel highway. The rest, as they say, is history. What legend suggests began as a late night dinner conversation that winter night in 1934, became America's first superhighway, the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Early promotional material billed the Pennsylvania Turnpike as the Tunnel Highway, because the roadway ran through seven tunnels as it traversed the mountainous terrain between Carlisle and Irwin, Pennsylvania. When the Pennsylvania Turnpike opened for business on October 1, 1940, it included two-lane tunnels at Laurel Hill, Allegheny, Race Hill, Sidling Hill, Tuscarora, Kittertini and Blue Mountain. Rapidly increasing traffic volumes, far surpassing anything anticipated by early turnpike planners, soon made the two-lane tunnels obsolete and prompted consideration of bypassing or double tunneling the seven original tunnels. After exhaustive studies, the decision was made to bypass the Race Hill, Sidling Hill and Laurel Hill tunnels. William K. Vanderbilt, kingpin of the New York Central Railroad, and industrial baron Andrew Carnegie dreamed of building an east-west railroad across southern Pennsylvania to compete with the Pennsylvania Railroad. Over $10 million was spent and 26 lives lost when the unfinished project was halted in 1886. The Laurel Hill Tunnel near Donegal was one of the nine tunnels which were partly completed during construction of the ill-fated South Penn Railroad. Workers had bored through 813 feet of solid rock at the Laurel Hill site and had built some of the approach grades when work stopped. Over the next 50 years, the site became a nesting place for snakes and rats as water partly filled the tunnel. After Governor George H. Earl signed an act on May 21, 1937 establishing the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission, the Laurel Hill Tunnel got a new lease on life. A contract for $1,578,493 was awarded and the tunnel was extended another 3,555 feet. Traffic began flowing through Laurel Hill when the turnpike opened on October 1, 1940. But, the tunnel's days were numbered. On August 7, 1962, the Lit Road Construction Company began cutting a new four-lane bypass through Laurel Hill and on October 30, 1964, the tunnel was again abandoned. Like their counterpart to the west, the Rays Hill and Sidling Hill tunnels were part of the South Penn Railroad's initial efforts to establish a transportation link across Pennsylvania. By the early 1960s, the York, Pennsylvania engineering firm at Butchart Horn was called upon to study the traffic bottleneck at the two tunnels and recommended a 13.1 mile bypass that included reconstruction and relocation of the Breezewood interchange and construction of a new east-west service plaza at Sidling Hill. The Sidling Hill Bypass, completed at a cost of $17,203,000, opened on November 26, 1968, sending both the Rays Hill and Sidling Hill tunnels into retirement. Portions of the vacated highway and the tunnels themselves still exist today and are used by the Turnpike for testing and research. From 1930s wire dispatches to the opening of the second Lee Tunnel, tunnels have been an integral and interesting part of the Pennsylvania Turnpike. In mid-1997, the Pennsylvania Turnpike Commission adopted a 12-year capital expenditures plan which calls for continued upgrading and rehabilitation of the Turnpike's tunnels, ensuring safe, efficient travel for Turnpike motorists well into the 21st century.